Okay, hello, good morning. It is Monday, January 31st, 2022. We're playing Hollywood Squares this morning. This morning's energy drink is Bang Sour Heads, my favorite flavor. That's some good sour stuff. So yeah, we're playing Hollywood Squares. Let's check this game out. I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar with the rules of Hollywood Squares. Oh, that's me. That's a total Chad right there. I love him. I am Vin. And I will be playing Mark, who's an even chattery Chad here. Here are my celebrities. We got Daz, Mary, Eddie, May, Rob, Beth, Mike, Pam, and of course, Dean. Now, if you're not familiar with the rules of Hollywood Squares, basically it's tic tac toe. We get asked the question. Uh, we uh, the celebrity gets asked a question. We have to decide if they were right or wrong, and then that determines if whether or not we get the square. I believe. Our opponent gets the square if we get it wrong, maybe? But you can't win on a wrong answer. So, let's let's do proper tic-tac-toe strategy, and let's go with one of the corners. And I think we got to go with Dean first here. A Memphis State University student reports that the top three reasons a person smokes is stress, craving, and what? I guess I hit the button. Is he on fire? Weight control. I'm going to agree. That's, and I was correct. X gets the square. Sweet. Marcus selected Rob. It was something that tormented the French people for years. So when the revolution came, the first thing the people did was to storm the what? Deodorant shop. See, they always, in the game show, they always had to give like a joke answer. To make it entertaining. And of course they did storm the Bastille. Let's, let's go with Eddie up here. I think he knows what he's talking about. According to American Health Magazine, if you have an ins insatiable urge to chew ice cubes, what is your body deficient in? Cold drinks. Of course, that's not the right answer. Vitamin C. I'm going to have to disagree. I believe it's iron. Yes, iron deficiency. If You crave ice, which is called pica, actually. So, you know. May for the block here. What famous thing ran all the way from St. Joseph, Missouri to Sacramento, California? What famous thing ran from St. Joseph, Missouri to Sacramento, California? Shelly... Shelly Winter's Nylons? That's apparently a joke. The Pony Express. The correct answer is the Pony Express. And I can't win by default. So, May, it's up to you. According to the Old Testament, Adam and Eve wore the world's first clothes. Who made them? That's a good question. I do not know the answer. They were hand me downs. That's the joke. They made them themselves. Maybe one of the angels made it. I'm going to disagree. God made their clothes. Of course he did. So I win. What an, that was an easy win. And I get 500 points. Mark is to start now. I can find the secret square for an amazing prize. Does the garter snake have teeth? Wait. No, that's why it never smiles. Rob's answer is actually no. No fangs, just even teeth. Oh, there you go. That means I get... You know, I'm going to go Daz. The, uh, let's go let's stick with Daz here. It doesn't have batteries. It's not a teddy bear. But in a recent study at Children's Nursery School, two-thirds said they own this classic toy. 
It doesn't have batteries, and it's not a teddy bear. But a recent study of children in nursery school, two-thirds said they own this classic toy. A black and white TV is the, is the, is the joke. A little red wagon. That's a good guess. I'm going to agree. Yeah, I was right. I thought that was a pretty good guess there. Oh, he did get the answer right on that. I'm the, I'm the exes. I screwed up. Anyway, according to the New England Journal of Medicine, ballerinas often suffer from weak bones because of too much exercise and too much what? Buttered fingered partners. This is Eddie's joke. Jumping. Too much jumping. Dieting is the correct answer. That's, yeah, that's actually correct. Malnutrition would be the correct answer. Because diet, dieting is healthy when you do it right, but we don't have time for that discussion today. What is the only animal besides man that can get a sunburn? That's a, that's a good question. George Hamilton's dog. A pig. Can a pig get sunburned? Yeah, why not? Let's say, sure. Thank you. Because that was, I did not know. That was a good answer. He needs Beth to block here. Why should you always lay wine on its side? That's, so it can rest before dinner is not the answer. So the cork doesn't dry out. That's a wrong the answer. Oh, he said it was incorrect. The correct answer is so the cork doesn't dry out. All right. So here's a chance to win again. Beth, you knew why about wine. Mixing chemicals obtained from coke, grain, potatoes, petroleum, and other raw materials will get you what? Mixing the chemicals obtained from coke, grain, potatoes, petroleum, and other raw materials will get you what? A splitting headache. Unbelievable gas pants. I was close. Plastic. Why not? Synthetic rubber is the correct answer. Oh, no. Eleven percent of all Americans said it was the greatest invention of all time. Sliced bread. The waterbed says May. That rescue May. Oh, yeah, we're playing Hollywood Squares. The wheel was a good answer. All right. Uh, I don't really have a chance to uh, win or block. I guess. I guess Pam. I guess I'm going with Pam. True or false, in Russia, if a woman gives birth to more than 10 children, she is rewarded with cash and prizes. Uh, maybe? <laughs> a chance to win one of the five beautiful tractors. The jokes in this game are awful. False. Uh. Um, agree. Yes! Russia gives pr prizes, apparently. Oh, there was a secret square. You can go to Martinique if he gets this question correct. True or false, Thomas Paine, one of the most important and influential founding fathers of our country, was a corset maker by trade. Martha Washington brought him for support. God, the jokes are terrible. I mean, the jokes are terrible in the show, too, so. Oh, the correct answer was true. You lost the holiday. Does that mean that I win the holiday? So let's see, we got a score here. I got four X's. He's got four O's. This is for the win. You're depressed statistically. Are you more likely to be a man or a woman? Um, I think men are more likely to be depressed. Because women actually seek mental health. I mean, that's today. I don't know about... I think this game was made in 86. The correct answer was a woman. I don't know if that's still true today.
so it's nine hundred to five hundred. I I'm not I'm not sure how the scores being kept in this game. In the comics and toy world, what is the name of He Man's beautiful and fabulous developed twin sister? Whoa! All right, fabulously developed. Maria Shriver. God, Barbarella. No, it's it's Shira. Everyone everyone knows that. Oh, He-Man has a twin sister. She-Ra is his twin sister. Did you not know? A house divided against itself cannot stand is a well-known phrase. Where did it originate? Um, one of the founding fathers said it. At a home builder's convention. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Wait, what? That's a Bible quote? Oh, man. Well, it depends when you watch, because I think... All right. <laughs> She-Ra didn't get introduced until um, late in He-Man's run. That's why I don't think there's... I think there's only, like, one or two seasons of She-Ra. Uh, there was a Christmas special, actually. Um that introduced She-Ra, I think. No, that was a just a Christmas special. There was a there was like a mini movie that introduced She-Ra. I don't think that was its Christmas special. There's a whole history we can go into the the T-Man She-Ra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she was in another dimension, maybe. I don't know. Hey, thanks for the follow. I I don't know how to pronounce your name. Tizzy Boo. I appreciate that. Me too. Me too. Oh, Zebu. Is that then? Did I did I get that right? Awesome. Well, welcome to the stream. We're playing some Hollywood Squares. I actually just figured out there was a whole retro category, so I probably should have been playing that for a while, because I, I like to play all these old NES games, but... Alright, true or false? We were talking about he we were talking about He-Man and She-Ra. she was the answer to one of the last questions, so we are talking about the introduction of She-Ra. But anyway, true or false? The Monkey Wrench gets his name for his inventor, Charles Monkey. That might be true. I thought it was an Irving Wrench. That's false. Mark disagrees. It was correct, because it's true. Some of these get kind of confusing. Ah, oh, he blew me out, that one. I was I was off to a good start. Ah, oh, Mark goes for the car. He gets to pick a key. Will it start? Ah, uh, like he, he doesn't win the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back. I think we gotta stick with this guy. How are the sounds, by the way? How's my sound okay? I'm obviously... I started... <laughs> Thanks for the fact check. This game was made in 86, so, you know, Wikipedia didn't exist yet. There's no way to actually look these things up. Charles Monk lived in Williamsburg section of Brooklyn. He made his whole murder chose mechanics with Monkey Wrench. He cannot invent the name of Monkey Wrench because he was born after the first return to print. Huh. I guess it's the same celebrities every time. See, I like this stream because it's, it's informative. Um... A while ago, I was playing Family Feud a lot, so that 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 was that was a fun game to to play too, um, which I also recently got for the Super Nintendo. So pretty soon, I'm gonna start playing Family Feud for the Super Nintendo. All right, first question: When Hamada Hamali fought the classic Thriller in Manila, who was his opponent? Frazier, wasn't it? I don't even get that joke. Fernand Marcos, George Foreman, might have been Foreman. Ah, uh, sure. 
that was strange. Always go with your gut. Always go with your gut. A survey of retailing organizations shows that 42% of all goods stolen from stores are taken by whom? Oh, no. People with the largest shopping bags. Shoplifters. Employees was the correct answer. Good, good on them. All right, Mike. I think your name was Eddie last time. They changed the names, I guess, but not the avatars. Who was it who uttered the famous words, These are the times that try men's souls. Feel free to help out, chat. Um, give me a clue. Does he work at the White House? Thomas Paine, the American Revolutionary Leader. Sure. Yeah. I knew he, that guy knew what he was talking about. All right. Needs Mary to block this here. According to the World Book, over half of the workers in Russia who lay, brig, lay bricks, dig ditches, and repair streets are what? Red-eyed and weary is the joke answer. Women. I would, I would agree with that. Look at the Soviet Union all for equality. All right, Mary. Back to you for the win. It's called a Dober mask. I've never heard of it. It's a foam rubber mask that resembles a Doberman pincher and may be placed on a small dog or cat to scare intruders. <laughs> True or false? Yeah, they used to have a red for mask to make the most of a bad situation. I don't get that joke either, Rob. Um, no, that can't be a thing. It is a thing. All right, we're going back. Oh, no, he gets the block automatically now. That was a silly move. I was this. According to the Greek mythology, who was the first woman on Earth? <laughs> You're talking about leisure shoot, Larry? Is that? Because, oh, man. I, I remember not being able to play those games. <laughs> I mean, I was, full disclosure, um, this, if this game came out in 86, I was six years old. So, I, a lot of these jokes are going to be over my head, too. But According to Greek mythology, who was the first woman on Earth? Hmm. Aphrodite? George Burns' mother? That's, I get that joke. Pandora? Wow, okay. That, that guy knows his Greek mythology. I gotta go. Oh, I gotta go for the block. All right, Liz. I need the block here. According to body politics, your arms are crossed, your coat is buttoned, and you are starting to rub your nose. What inner feelings are you expressing? According to body politics, your arms are crossed, your coat is buttoned, and you're starting to rub your nose? What inner feelings are you expressing? I have no idea what this is. I don't even... Desire to be an Eskimo. Okay. Defensiveness. Sure. Sure, why not? Alright, we got the block, though. Rob has selected Joe. Your cat keeps rubbing up against you. What is he doing? Um, marking, marking you, isn't he? Smelling my new cologne, says Joe. Rubbing a set on you, yeah. Oh, so, uh... We got Pam or Sue? Neither one of us... Neither one of them are going to get me a, a win here. No, so let's let's go sue. 
According to Pediatrics Magazine, what is the best method for putting an end to a child sucking his thumb? I hope she says cut it off. Wrap spinach around it. That's not as funny. Have him wear gloves. I disagree. Coat the thumb with a bitter substance. Actually, I knew somebody who had to do that. They, they had to wear bitter nail polish. According to the Old Testament, Jonah lived in the belly of a whale for three days. What made the whale spit him out? Can't wait to see what the joke is here. Whale simply cannot eat kosher food. That's a terrible joke. Um, stabbed it with a knife. God commanded it. Oh, that means I get the I get the the X, and I think I win the round. Or we each get a hundred dollars for each. Um. Square, I guess. All right, pick a celebrity. Mike did us right last game. Let's stick with Mike here. According to the recent Roper poll, the two household tasks that children hate the most are cleaning their room and what else? <coughs> Dishes. Changing their own diapers. Taking out the garbage. That's... Mm. I, look at that! Washing the dishes. I was right. Always go always go with your gut, people. According to the Parents Magazine, babies will definitely cry less if parents do something more often to them. What? <laughs> Add more vodka to their strained peaches. Good call, Dean. Sing to them. Hold them was the correct answer. This could be a quick one. Come on, Joe. One of the most talked about new weapons in the U.S. military is the something called the Stealth Bomber. And it can do something no other type of aircraft can do. Avoid radar. Go for, for... Well... It can avoid being detected by radar. That's correct. Everybody knows what the Stealth Bomber. That was a, that was a quick win. 500 points to us. The most child rearing experts agree. The ideal spacing between children is what? About two city blocks. Ha ha ha. Three to four years. I thought it was two to three years. But close enough. Hmm. Gotta go with the corner. You know, Joe Joe got it for me last time. Let's, let's go to Joe. When Queen Elizabeth went to China recently, she took three tons of it with her. What was it? Luggage. Beer nuts. Luggage would have been a better joke. <laughs> Joe's answer is actually luggage. I'm gonna disagree. It actually was luggage. She brought three tons. That's impossible. That's 6,000 pounds. I mean, for everybody, maybe? Oh, man. This might be a quick loss after a quick win. They are three blood fish traveling groups and have been known to tear the flesh off skeletons of animals and people just in a few minutes. What are they? Congress people. Divorce lawyers. That's an even better joke. Okay. Warrior ants. Piranha fish. That was actually my joke. That was my guess. So we're still alive. Still alive. Um, you know what? I like crazy, crazy hair mark down here. According to the dictionary of scriptures and myths, when you hear the voice of God, you are really hearing what? Memorex? God, that's a, that's a dated joke. Your conscience. I, I like that answer. Sure. All right. Needs to block with Sue here. According to the Ladies Home Journal, the average cost of doing it for 18 years is $199,650. Doing what? The Ladies Home Journal, the average cost of doing it for 18 years is... 
Making Johnny Carson's monthly allowance. Oh, Jesus. Yep, that was a good. Uh, that makes sense. Oh, he dis he did disagree. So he blocked me. So I gotta block. I gotta block with Pam here. Can you teach a pig to fetch? Can you teach a pig to fetch? Yes or no? Yes, but only Kermit's pipe and slippers. That's actually a decent joke. Pam actually says yes. You know what? Pigs are pigs are smart animals. Why not? Yeah, pig. I don't. We gotta get pigs more credit. What was the first made? What was what was first made in Egypt over three thousand years ago by mixing fruits with nuts and honey? Uh, some kind of alcohol. Cereal. Candy was the correct answer. I thought it was some kind of alcohol, <laughs> like some kind of wine or something. All right, all right, Liz. We know that too much sugar is bad for your teeth. Trail mix, yeah. Oh, I have some trail mix downstairs. Can too much starch harm your teeth? It'll make your tongue stiff as a board. Can too much starch harm your teeth? I think any, too much anything can probably be harmful. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna disagree though. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. I should have trusted Liz. Should have trusted Liz. Do some deer bark? Yes, they're watch deer. Oh, when they make love. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, that was... All right, I'm going for the car. Which key? All right. Dark fire sky. Thad says four. Oh, I got to choose the car too. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Alright, this looks this looks sporty. Turn that key. We want a car! Everybody! We did it! We won the car. Look at us. And we won. Th and we're in third place on the high score. Except we got to pay taxes on that car. Which is. Depending on what car it is, the taxes might be more than the last car that I bought, so. But we, we, we won the car. Look at that. Look at us. All right. Oops. All right. New game show. Since we since we won a car, I mean, what else can we what else can we do? I'm gonna play another classic game show on the NES. Um, I might be, I don't have it, but that would be interesting, especially if it was like from the eighties, have to uh, adjust for inflation, but no, we're going back. Does anyone remember this game show with Keith, no, not Keith Olbermann, that's a sportscaster. Ken Ober was the host. 
famously starred in uh, Blues Traveler music videos. Also, Adam Sandler actually got his start on this show. Oh yeah, we gotta go with the redhead ginger. Guess we don't get names. All right, I, I'm Billy, because I didn't know how to I didn't know how to set my name. So, all right, we're gonna lucky number four. What was the biggest thing on Murray the cop's face? His hat, his lips, his nose. His nose was the correct answer. It's about old TV trivia and pop culture trivia. Bald guys. These are examples, shining examples in their fields, and light catches their heads. Just right, answer these questions about celebrity chrome domes. Big boned and balding actor Vic Tabak played short order cook Mel Sharples on what popular sitcom? Alice? It's the only show I could think of that had a cook. Uh, let's see what lucky number seven is. Still more prime time. He once carried a gun in Mayberry, but now Andy Griffins carries a briefcase as an attorney on what TV series? Matlock. Sticking with this category. Still more prime time. On Alf, Gordon Shumway is known by another name. What is it? It's Alf. A former son of the Ponderosa now motors around, bringing tenderness and tears to all. Michael Landon recently starred as a sappy angel on what series? Oh, it's uh, Highway to Heaven. Blown, blown him out here. I'm still in control. Alright, what's number one? MTV. In Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band, what's the big man's real name? I, I know there is a Steve Van Zandt. He's not the big man, though. <laughs> yeah. You just kind of make a face. Did she get that right? Help Robbie Neville out by translating the title of his hit, C'est la vie, into English. Oh, that's life. That's life, not live life. I should have known. I should have known that. I should have got that right. I panicked. Yeah, good, good job, Mike. You got the th process of elimination. Uh, back to bald guys for 10 points. Before making waves on the love boat, Gavin Naked Noggin McLeod played Murray Slaughter on what show? Uh, Michael's Navy? Nope. Oh, no, thanks for coming in and thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope to see you. Hope to see you back. Back to bald guys. I think this is for twenty points. Who had the most hair? Captain Steubing. Kojak definitely not. Or Yul Brenner. Uh. Captain Steubing. Everybody else was like super bald. 
I happen to, to be related to Einstein. Not really. Billy's back in control. Uh, let's go with six. The movie channel. Now it's all streaming, so. In the hit movie, Fatal Attraction, what type of pet was this? Oh, it's a bunny. It's a bunny. A rabbit. Stick with the movies. Airborne. Catastrophe claims the life of Tom Cruise's pal. Goose in what film? Come on. Top Gun. Still in control. Still rocking the movies. Oh, you don't know Goose? Forget it, Jake. This is Chinatown. I've never even seen that movie, but I know that line. Oh, even I know that. I, re I misread your comment. Um, yeah. <laughs> but. I didn't say this was the hardest game out there. Still more reruns. Trapper John, MD, was a spinoff of what TV sitcom classic? I don't know. Um, I, okay. Whew, that was close. I thought it was MASH. Still in control. Still more reruns. Who played Jennifer Marlowe on WKRP? Uh, I know Ta Lonnie Anderson was on that show. Um, Howard Hessman just passed away, actually. He was uh, Johnny Fever on WKRP in Cincinnati. Still more reruns. On 8 is Enough. How many kids did Tom and Abby Bradford produce? Uh, 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 no. <laughs> no harm in guessing in this game, so. It's not Jeopardy. I was, I should have guessed none, even though I had no idea. All right, snack break time. And back from commercial. Start round two, all point values are doubled. Okay, Brenda, you are in control. Ranger Bob. It's a visit from everybody's favorite outdoorman, level for Ranger Bob. You're losing 10 points, but gaining a valuable safety tip. Ranger Bob says, Say, I just got back from my local zoo, and boy, was it exciting. And if you're planning a trip to your local zoo, please let your friendly zookeeper feed the animals and, and risk his own neck. Better yet, why not be a... Ranger Bob safety cub and forget about the zoo altogether. That wasn't even clever. All right. Anyway, you lost 10 points, but you're still in control of the board, Brenda. You're going with black and white TV. The golden age of black and white television. Which at this point was only like 30 years ago. <laughs> instead of the 60 years ago that it is now. Who had the title role in the wacky sitcom that flowered the nutty misadventures of Wilbur and Carol Post? Wilbur. Thank God I grew up on Nick at Night. Let's go more black and white TV. Patty and Kathy were identical twins who laughed alike, talked alike, and sometimes even walked alike. What a crazy pair. It was the... The Patty Duke Show. Thanks again, Nick at Night. Uh, 
I, in this game, definitely, we are the weirdest looking people I've ever seen, so can't argue that. Billy, still in control, black and white TV. How many children did Herman and Lily Munster have? Two. No, it's just, wait. Did they just have the one? I don't think they had 3,000. <laughs> and Mike again, coming in. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't niche, so I do remember that. But Eddie Monster was their only kid? Now, I know the Adams family had two kids. Maybe that's where I was mixing them up. I guess, yeah. Prime time. This is not about Deion Sanders. On Family Ties, he's always loved Mallory, but he wears glasses, and his mother named him after peanut butter. Named the Keaton's next door neighbor. I believe it's Skippy. Yes. Who played Skippy? I don't remember. Fluffernutter. I'm gonna name my kid Fluffernutter. Criminals beware. There's a show on Fox that helps viewers identify real fugitives. America's Most Wanted. You make the call. America Undercover. America's Most Wanted. Oh, we gotta keep going. More prime time. A former Mets pitching great and the growing pains family share. This Tom Seaver. And, of course, the Seavers gave Kurt Cameron this big break, unfortunately. But we won't hold that against him. The Wrestling Channel. I can't. Come on. If I get these wrong. Is it a sport? Is it a sham? Who really cares? Don't be cruel. Stitched across his tights. It's definitely the Honky Tonk Man. I wouldn't have gotten that without a hint. But it makes sense. Honky. Who's the manager of the Honky Tonk Man? Mouth of the South. Colonel Jimmy Hart. Name drop. I've met him. Nice guy. I actually worked I worked a match with him. He was the manager. He cheated behind my back. Round him out. He was a nasty, slimy wrestling referee. I've worked with this guy too. His name is Dangerous Danny Davis. I've actually I've refereed Dangerous Danny Davis. I you keep you already asked me that. Video high. Where do 40-year-olds actors go to view? Go to, uh, go to school? Video high. On head of the class. Honor student. I want to say India. Yes. Man, head of the class was a popular show, I guess, at this time. We got two head of the class questions. Also starring Howard Hessman. Who's the youngest student in the head of the class? Uh, I think Darlene? Nope. There was a 14-year-old. She was like an advanced student. It's Janice. The infamous Dan Schneider was on that show. Also, the CEO of... Uh, I think I think he's the CEO of Viacom now. Was was on that show? It was a late eighties. It was on for like five or five or six seasons. Ooh. I'm gonna say it was James Buchanan. Yes. 
Thanks again to Nick at Night for supplying me with that answer. The Bob Channel. Robert, Roberto, Rob, Bobby, Rob, and Bob, by any other name, would still answer to Bob. Which boomtown rat got rock stars together to feed the world and save starving Ethiopians? Bob Geldof was his name. How do you like the new layout, by the way? I downloaded the, um, the Twitch. Twitch has a, uh, I don't even know what you call these things. Streaming gimmick. <laughs> Streaming studio. Oh, I guess it's going to end it. Bye, Brenda. In the real show, they would just get dragged backstage by the cool, like, trapdoor thing. Like, the chair would, like, bring them back. In this game, they get struck by lightning and disintegrated. So the stakes are a little bit higher in this game, I guess. Some shows with the Elder's End with the Whimper. I should have listened to the instructions here, but... Cleaver, look to the scrapbook. Uh, Cleaver's, uh, leave it to Beaver. Margaret McGarrett catches wolf fat? What? Why five oh. Andy helps get Goober get a date. Uh Andy Griffin. Oscar meets Harry Cosell, the odd couple. Get there. Bob and Emily leave Chicago. Uh, uh Hogan's men destroy the enemy missiles. Hogan's heroes. Ah, I got to meet before Greg graduates high school. Jillian becomes a oh uh, where is it? You weren't going to catch me anyway. Get out of here. You're struck by lightning. Yeah, it was a little bit easier to set up. Um, I like how the, the chat has those little boxes. I guess we won. That, and that's, that's it. No grand prize. No anything special. Just, just win the game. All right, and on that note, I think we're going to end it there. Yeah, it's not the hardest uh, trivia game out there, but Game Show Monday has been a success. That was, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for stopping by. Um, if you're watching this tonight, I will be talking with the New York Nick about the NFL postseason drama. Um, NFL playoffs were yesterday. My 49ers lost a heartbreaker, and the Bengals were able to upset the Chiefs. So we have a Bengals Rams Super Bowl, and I'm going to be talking about it tonight with the New York Nick at 9:30 p.m. in a rare late night stream. So, uh, so if you're around, join me for that. And until next time, see ya.